<laughs> oh, come in. <laughs> Seems to be the problem, Ernest. Well, uh, the, the thing is, I've been dealing with this massive writer's block, and it's, I just can't get it out of my head. It's, it's, it's good or bad. Hmm. But then, in that solution, I think we should fundamentally break down the psychology behind your writing, and then maybe we can build up from that and get you some, some words flowing out of your pen. So, Ernest, Ernest, <laughs> how do you write? Well, I would, uh, I, I mostly just try to follow the four rules of writing that I learned at the uh, Kansas City Star. I use uh, short sentences, short first paragraphs. Um, I make sure to use vigorous also use positive rather than negative description, because I feel that more accurately portrays what's happening. That is very interesting. Yeah. What would you say, as an author, makes you unique? How are you different? Why are your works not like all of the other words out there? Because there are many words, you have to admit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I, I find that I rather use, I use uh, short and terse sentences, and as opposed to other people who might focus on really the, the passionate aspect of human emotion, I, I really look at it scientifically, and I find that way, I, I'd much rather sculpt images in order to grasp the real thing and the, uh, the sequence of actions and motion, which made the emotion, and which would be valid in a year, or ten years, or if you're lucky, always. It seems like you have a really good grasp of what, uh, what makes you unique, and that is good. What would you say, uh, I don't know how to say it, it, it epitomizes your style, what aspects of your writing? Well, um, my style kind of heavily depends on what, what, what I refer to as iceberg theory, or uh, some other people call it the, the theory of omission. It's uh, basically, if a writer knows enough about what he's writing about, he may omit things that he, that he knows already. But basically, the dignit, dignity of movement of an iceberg is due to the fact that only one-ninth of it is above the water. I also often use the word and rather than a comma. And I feel that this really adds to the immediacy and urgency of my writing. Well, I mean, that sounds pretty much like you know what you do. Why can you not just do this? It's formula, go do. I, I have no inspiration right now. I, I can't think of anything to write. Well, you said you write about what you know. What do you know? Write about your life experiences. Life experiences. You know what? I've got it. Just a second. <laughs> 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 